so dear mds aspirants now we'll study about the cranial foramina and their apertures this we have studied during our initial uh, bds days but we tend to forget why because we don't study in the step wise we study directly the foramina and the structure passing but we should know the cranial fossa is divided in three part anterior middle and posterior in anterior cranial fossa there are the foramina located in the cribriform plates of ethmoid bone through them the axons of olfactory cells passes then we have anterior and posterior ethmoidal foramina through them the vessels and now with the same name passes now middle cranial fossa we have optic canal through which optic nerve and the ophthalmic artery passes then we have a superior orbital fissure through that the cranial now uh, number 3 4 5 6 uh, travels then foramen rotundum maxillary now then for foramen oval one mnemonic is that there is a male m stand for a mandibular now a stand for the accessory meningeal artery e stand for emissary vein and l stand for lesal petrosal no foramen spinosum the shortcut is man m e n n stand for middle meningeal artery and vein e stand for emissary vein and the n stand for nervous spinosus which is also known as meningeal branch of mandibular no through foramen lacrimum internal carotid artery passes through hiatus of greater petrosal now a greater petrosal now passes in posterior cranial fossa we have foramen magnum through which mostly the spinal root of accessory now pass then we have jugular foramen through which the cranial now number 9 10 and the 11 passes okay and through hypoglossal canal we have the traveling of hypoglossal now 